all right my people welcome back on to this channel well this is another strong one reaching us still on the matter yoruba nation are going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are talking about yes yeah, so on to this one many things they happen that many things i want to share them a lot of people have been reacting on to this fact hmm. now it has gotten to that level the houses have now woken up from their slumber you know we have been talking about um yoruba nation going back now i think the area where we now wake up now the Hausa people you know a lot of people there we don't know the difference majority of people will be like Hausa and fulani they are one no the difference is very clear as we speak right now these Hausa people have been terrorized by these fulani people for a very long time in fact according to the statement reaching us it had been made clear that they have been troubled terrorized by this fulani community for about 219 years mm -hmm. you are shocked that's exactly what we are talking about now these Hausa people have now come out in their numbers they have come out in their numbers see we have been saying this that these are uh, the fulani people they don't belong anywhere as far as nigeria is concerned the fulani people they are not nigerians that is why they have been trying no that's why they have been living in the in the bushes that is why they have been living in the forest my brother my sister the truth is finally out all these ones that we've been shouting yoruba nation no going back most of our elders yoruba elders are keeping mute they are being quiet i don't know simply because of peanuts no we've talked about this several times it's all about selfishness all they think about is themselves all they think about is what we go to their own pockets and their family and they are maybe close persons but the fact now remains that the Yoruba nation agitators, the true Yoruba nation agitators, who are always called uh, the lover of good things, they don't want to you know, they don't want to enjoy alone. No matter how much you give to them, they will not accept. Because they know that if they accept this, then what is going to happen to their brother? If you say you want to pay them off, what is going to happen to their brother? I know a lot of agitators that have been paid. In fact, have, have been offered uh, millions of naira just to forget about Yoruba nation. But they did not because they know the truth. And the Bible says you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Okay, now look at what is going on. Aousas has given full and equit notice to exit Aousa land. Okay, now if we are talking about Aousa land, we'll talk about the northern part of the country. So, which part of the country does these Fulani people belong to? That is exactly what we are talking about. For all those ones who have been shouting Yoruba nation not going back yet, some people are out there sabotaging them. Some Yorubas are out there going against them. I think it's high time everybody wake, wake, wakes up. It is high time. With the news reaching us right now, the Hausa community have now given Fulani people, these same Fulani that have been you no know, jumping from one state to another to terrorize the people, lying and they're saying all sorts of things that the land, all the land in the country belong to them. That is why you see them everywhere. Yet, what is the function of the government to do, to deal with this set of uh, criminals? Because as it stands, they don't belong anywhere. If the houses can say they should leave their land, and exactly what is going on right now, then why is it that we, the Yorubas, we are still mute on this matter? Why is it that every, nobody is coming out to talk about this? my brother my sister this is not funny at all you can imagine for over 219 years the fulani people have been terrorizing the hausa people for over 219 years you can imagine mm. and then with the news reaching us i'm going to detail everything to you you will understand why we need to open our eyes why we need to be careful this is so serious it is not funny well let's just take that according to the news reaching us right now it says houses give full and quit notice to exit Hausa land and then onto this one in what could be described as a looming tribal and an ethnic war between the houses and the Fulanese, houses in northern nigeria 
have given Fulanese notice to quit their lands. And then also this, this follows the recent backlash rejoinder to Fulani leader Dr. Salim Musa Umar, President General Fulbe Global Development and the Right Initiative by Hausa leader Carlton Alumbe Jitami. And then also this one, the Hausa Stansa Development Association, HTDA, entitled For 219 years, the Hausa the Hausa people have been victims of terrorism and an injustice under Fulani leadership. The rejoinder obtained from verified CasaHouse24.com General News Carlton Jitami advised Fulanis to exit themselves out of Hausa land before it is too late. My brother, my sister, you got it right. Now, this is exactly what we are talking about. If the Hausa people come out to say, now we don't want this to happen, we are going to deal with you. They are not like every other tribe that will say, I'm going to deal with you. It will take a long time. When the Hausa man say, tells you, we are going to do this you people should leave you should know that it's no longer a joke and now all the house warriors definitely they are prepared they are ready and they, they have given these fulani people ultimatum i'm still going to dish out everything to you my brother my sister this is the time for everybody to wake up now a lot of people are now like okay fine could it be the reason why all these fulani people have been you no know, looking for ways penetrating Yoruba land, my brother, my sister, this is exactly where we need to wake up. A lot of people have been asking that, hey, we need to be very careful. A lot of people are not like, right now, as it stands, if these Aousa people are able to conquer the Fulani, that means the Fulani people might now take it upon themselves to be running down to Yoruba land, of which we have been saying what they have been perpetrating. Hey, my brother, my sister, this is not funny at all. Hmm. All right, and then as it stands right now, the Hausa people have woken up from their slumber. They have been sleeping all this while. And then as it stands, this set of people are no longer joking. Now, it now shows that it's not only the Yorubas that are now going to be fighting these Hausa people. But one thing is this. Now that these Hausa people are chasing the Fulanese out of their states where do you think these people will not pack themselves to that's exactly what a lot of people are now been asking that if care is not taken if these Hausa people are able to conquer the Fulanese that is to tell you that these are Fulani people they will not pack themselves though we have been saying signs that they are in Yoruba land they will not pack themselves to Yoruba land what do you think is going to happen my brother my sister this is exactly what we need to tackle right now Let's forget about the houses. The houses, they have said a lot of things. They have said it that according to their great grandfather, according to what happened, they said their great grandfather, which uh, is uh, Utman Danfodio, was the one that initiated that to the Fulanese that they should take over the houses' land. They should take over their land, and uh, to the extent they started buying all of them, and uh, which is what is happening till today. My brother, my sister, hey, this is not a joke at all. I, I could see some people say, ah, good news, oh, we now have Hausa people supporting uh, the Yoruba people to conquer Fulanese. Fine. But my brother, my sister, if Hausas are ready to wake up to conquer their own, to conquer their own territory, what is the Yorubas doing? To conquer that this is not funny at all a lot of people will think oh yes this is a great news fine it's a great news but do you know that the houses they are not like we the yorubas okay now look at what is happening we are talking about how we are going to take our land we have some group of people that are against the yoruba nation movement look at what is happening between chief sunday Igbo and the iba Ghani adams is that supposed to be happening now Times to that number, oh, Iba Ghani Adams have been called out to like, okay, fine, as it stands, what you said were, you know, a kind of, uh, a kind of uh, mistake. What you said then was something you said out of, you no, know, maybe, you no, know, being carried away. 
The English people will say, no, what say slip of tongue. You were carried away. You you never you never thought of it. You were just talking as you know, somebody that was pained. At least let's take it that way. Try and then let this man, Chief Sunday, go know that oh, it was just a kind of slip of tongue, so that the sleeping dog will lie. Those were the things we have been saying. But now the way the whole matter is going is you no, know, it's not encouraging at all. Oh, I never said this. I never meant this. I said it when uh, I was angry. But I'm so sorry. Please, let us forget this. It should not even go viral. It shouldn't. But look at what is happening right now. They are now spreading it. We are talking about how to conquer the land so that everybody will be fine. So that everybody will be okay. So that people will be able to sleep with their two eyes closed. Then we are now even fighting ourselves. Look at the Hausa community. They have you no know, gathered themselves together. They cooperated. Nobody is fighting themselves in the land, but they are together fighting the Fulani people. Now look at what is going on. A lot of people are scared. Okay, if this uh, for, uh, okay, fortunately now for the houses, if they are able to conquer the Fulanis, where do you think the Fulanis want to run to? Because now they have nowhere to go. They want to go to other territory to 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 start living there to start, start terrorizing them my brother my sister this is something that we all need to wake up our monarchs our our monarchs our governors our our elders this is the time they need to act fast yes this is the time they need to have at fast. This is not the time for us to now be saying, oh, yes, we now we now have uh, our president there. No, the president alone cannot do it. Yes, we say he's our brother, Yoruba man that is there. Yes, uh, we are now free. We are seeing what is going on. In fact, it is now that things are a lot of atrocities have been have been performed by these Fulani people. They are everywhere. Now, thank God. The houses have woken up from their slumbers. For about 219 years, they have been terrorized by this set of Fulani people. My brother, my sister, they have woken up that we don't want to see you people again on our land. And they mean it. The house warriors are ready. Hey, my brother, my sister, this is not funny at all. A lot of people are not like, hey, what is now going to happen to Yoruba land? Though? What is going to happen now? If this uh, uh, Fulani people now leave, uh, they are being forced out of uh, the northern state. That means they, are, they will be running down to Yoruba land. Because they know that Yoruba people, they are not gathered. They are not working together. They are not cooperating. Hey, my brother, my sister, this is another strong word. But it is not too late, oh. Now, this is the time for our governors to wake up. This is the time for our elders to cooperate. Chief Sunday Bo is not in the country. Why? Nobody is talking anything about, saying anything about it. He must be returned back. Yoruba nation had been on ground and it must be actualized. Either they like it or not. Everybody needs to wake up. I am getting a lot of uh, information from here and then I am still being surprised that the Fulani... The Fulanis are now you know, the talk of everywhere. Even the, even the so-called uh, houses don't want them in their community. Even the houses does, does not want them because they believe that they do not belong anywhere. You see what we are talking about? This is exactly what we are talking about. Well, meanwhile, let me continue. It says, the CasaHausa24.com general news also alleged that Usman Damfodio, the great grandfather of Fulanis, initiated the buying of Hausa people and the seizure of their lands by brigandage, which continued today. Which continued till today. You got that. And he stated, rejoinder to Dr. Salim Musa Umar, President General Fulbe, Global Development and the Rights Initiative by Kaltom Alumbe Jitami Emancipator Ausawa Tisanta Development Association, HTDA. It stated, your great grandfather, Usma Danfodio, in the last 219 years initiated the buying and then under of Hausa people and their lands by brigandage, which continues to today.
The House has also stated that Dr. Salim Umar was silent when his Fulani people were busy visiting Hausa people and they committing atrocities on abetedly. Well, it also read in part, Dr. Salim, where were you that you had been silent when your Fulani people were busy visiting my Hausa people with the following atrocities on abetedly? They buried Hausa people alive in the days of Usman Danfodio. Hmm. They sold Hausa people like heads of cattle into slavery. They castrated Hausa males to stop them from procreation. They jailed husbands and their wives to their death for no just reason. They seized cultivated and then uncultivated farms and the farmlands belonging to the houses. My brother, my sister, you can imagine this part now now strikes my heart. They seized farmlands belonging to the houses. That's exactly what they are doing in Yoruba land now. They are buying everybody and a lot of people are still quiet. Many people are still quiet that, oh, eh, let them continue. We know that eh, eh, with time, God go catch them. My brother, my sister, hey, this is not time to say with God or with time. This is the time to act fast. God has opened your eyes to do the needful. Don't wait for these people to continue. No, I've said this time to that number. A lot of people have been quiet about it. Sheba Shema Laju Wale, Tita Luboma Makowo, everybody need Lati G, Emma soon. Wake up, wake up from your slumbers. For everyone out there that call themselves leaders, you are an elder, this is the time for you to wake up. Talk to whoever you can talk to. You have, no, you have lose guarded a long time ago. Now the houses have woken up that, okay, fine, this is the time we need to fight back. Then other tribes, what are you waiting for? Hey, my brother, my sister, it's not funny. We need to wake up on this. Now, according to what had been said, that this set of people made sure they collected their land. They made sure they seized their cultivated and the, the uncultivated farms and the farmland belonging to the houses. They indoctrinated Hausa children into begging and they made them see poverty as their divine destiny. My brother, my sister, this is exactly what is going on in Yoruba land right now. A lot of people are now begging. A lot of people are now begging to eat. You have a farmland, they don't want you to cultivate. You have what can give you food, they don't want you to, to cultivate your farmland. They now started buying people up and down. Yet, some group of people are there telling us that uh, it's, it is a, a restructuring that can help us. Who said? What kind of restructuring are we talking about? What kind of restructuring is going to you know, bring people back to life? People that this set of group of people have actually dealt with. You are talking about restructuring. For how long have you been asking for restructuring? People have been paid on a daily basis. This set of group, this set of people, the Afeni Ferris that have been talking about restructuring, they never come to the rescue of the people. All they think about is themselves. Thank God for the great Yoruba youth that we have. They have they have came out in their numbers that we are not going to allow this set of our to continue to talk for us. In fact, they are not representing us. They are not representing us at all. We are not going to accept this. You are talking about restructuring. Look at, they are making their people to beg till today. That's why you say, oh, all those amajiri, all those this, all those that. They own the land, Hausa people, uh, the Fulani people send them away from their own land. My brother, my sister, this is not funny. This is the time for us to wake up. This is the time for us to wake up. Now, according to what has been gathered, he said Hausas are denied recruitment into armed forces, paramilitary police force and the civil service they forbade and then excluded houses from participating in politics except for voting as dictated by fulani malams imams and then ul ul ulamas okay and then they kidnap Hausa christians women from churches and then even forcefully do that with them 
inside mosque it stated now the statement also added that in north western nigeria kasina zamfara kebi and the shokoto which you are complaining about the insecurity of your fulani your very fulani people did the following to hausa people they burnt 44 hausa people alive in a bus this happened in shokoto state in Sokoto State, during the regime of former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, a Fulani man, they threw live, they threw live Hausa babies to Fulani dogs as feed for the dogs to eat in Casina State. Oh my goodness, you can imagine. She people now they see what all these people don't get for mind to do for Yoruba land. All their children, all their babies, then then control with them for dog to chop hey my brother my sister everybody needs to wake up can you now see what this house are uh, full of people are capable of doing and this same thing they have been doing in yoruba land and they, our elders are still keeping mute they are still quiet about it everybody is quiet waiting for the president chief sunday Bo came out that oh our people must be liberated our people must be saved Nobody is supporting. Majority of people are not supporting. Instead, they are supporting to send them out of the country. What is going on? When are we going to wake up? When are we going to wake up? This is so serious. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of things that atrocities that this set of people have committed. I'm getting to see a lot of things here that the Fulani people have done to these houses now the houses have woken up for 219 years no our mumu don't do we don't wake up it will not happen again my brother my sister this now goes to the yoruba people what are you people doing to stop all this this is not funny what are you going to do to stop this to stop these people from running down to yoruba land because as it stands right now every yoruba person that is wise must think that okay after now where are they going to now run to if the fulani people uh if the uh, hausa people will be able to send them out of their home country or their whole state where do you think these people will run to that is why we have been seeing a lot of them you no know, packing themselves to Yoruba land, to the southwest. They are everywhere. Look at the one that just happened along uh, Shagamu, Bene Expressway. Now they are closed everywhere in the southwestern part. They have done a lot of uh, wrong things, a lot of atrocities in Oyo State. They are still there. Ibarakpa East local government. Look at what just happened in, a, in, a, in my village. My brother, my sister, what is going on? Who is deceiving you that somebody is out there to help you in Yoruba land? Who is deceiving who? All these things that are happening, that's exactly how they will be mute. They will tell you they are working. They are still mute about it. And a lot of innocent souls are gone. My brother and my sister, we need to wake up on this before it is too late. Well, still on the matter. Yoruba nation no going back. Exactly what it is. Exactly what the people are talking about. What more can we say, my people? Meanwhile, let me have your own take on this. And um, remember to subscribe for more updates. If you are just joining us on this channel for the first time. Alright. Thanks and God bless.